Now, no, may alam na tayo sa eyeless extension curl type. Let's talk about length and thickness. These two things should not be taken lightly. Sa pagpili ng wrong length and thickness eyelash extension for a client could result in serious damage done to their natural lashes. Too much weight on a natural lash will cause breakage to the natural lashes and possibly permanently thinner or shorter ang magiging natural lashes nila. Please uh, bear with me. Let me explain to you guys what is length and thickness in eyelash extension. But again, before anything else, hi to all. I am Mami J of Lobian Rose Lashes. And if you are new to my channel, welcome po. Please don't forget to like and share, most especially to subscribe. And hit the bell button para updated kayo sa ating tutorial. So how do we choose the right length and thickness? First, you have to learn the rules of the game and then you have to play better than anyone else. But first, always follow these two rules. So rule number one, Pumili ng haba na hindi lalagpas sa 2 to 3 mm kaysa sa haba ng natural lashes ni client. So, rule number 2, dapat i-match mo yung thickness to the client's natural lashes. You're going only slightly thicker for a more dramatic look. Okay, so guys, bakit we can only uh, go to 2 to 3 mm longer than the client's natural lash and then imamatch pa natin ang diameter or ang thickness ng eyeless extension. Okay, so unahin po natin ang length. Meron kasing length um, ng eyeless extension sa market na available from 0 0.4 to 22 mm ang haba. For example, ang haba ng lashes ni client is nasa 10 mm lang at nilagyan mo ng 15 mm. So, sobrang haba na siya na masasabing OA na tingnan at di na mukhang natural. So, either maglagay ka ng 12 mm or 13 mm na haba sa 10 mm na haba ng natural um, lashes ni client. Pero may mga client talaga na gustong mahaba ang kanilang um, eyelash extension. So, ang pwede mong gawin, ipaliwanag mo lang sa kanila ang magiging result. The second we consider is the thickness. Sa market, meron tayong available from 0.03 mm to 0.30 mm. Pinakamanibis ang 0.03. Tapos, pinakamakapal ang 0.30 mm, of course. Pansinin niyo sa chart kung paano sila nagkakaiba sa thickness. The normal last thickness, I would say, is 0.15 mm. Siya yung tinatawag ko na pinakasafe na thickness sa lahat. But then, kung para sa akin ay normal ang 0.15 mm, then ang lashes ni Klein is more thin then take nyo rin yun for consideration and for example if your client natural lashes are 0.10 mm thick lang and you throw on um, 0.20 mm lashes well I could say they will not last and they could possibly even too heavy sa mga lashes nila lashes that are too heavy will cause strain on the last follicle and could result in sparse regrowth Ang thickness then ay nakakategorize either sa classic set or sa volume set. So guys, um, bear with me. I-discuss natin yan in separate video. So recap alert tayo guys. Basically, what we discussed was sa LS extension, meron tayong length na from uh, 4mm to 22mm and Sa thickness naman, meron tayong from 0 0.03 to 0 0.30 mm. Guys, that's it for today's video and thank you so much sa panonood and um, hopefully may natutunan na naman kayo sa ating um, video tutorial ngayon. And um, don't forget to wake up with Lashes Lashes and see you soon on my next video. Thank you! Bye, guys!